Thank you for watching. This is uh, Van from the Break Room Blitz, bringing you another unboxing video for this uh, Superman Dawn of Justice figure. This one's by Play Arts Kai or Square Enix. It's the video game company, and uh, I purchased this one through Amazon uh, via my Amazon Prime. Um, so I actually got this one uh, with, via a lightning deal that they have. T typically Amazon, they have like deals of the day. Um, and this one typically runs for about 100 or so. Uh, but the lightning deal, I was able to pick it up for $47. And just taking a look at this box, I mean, this box is great. I mean, the material is all glossy. Um, and it just kind of gives you like some really cool emblems here. Um, gives you a little bit of... Um, uh, some detail now this is all in um, I'm not too sure maybe Japanese um, but uh, you know here we can see that we got the Square Enix logo and such and a couple different poses um, number two within this series um, I believe they make um, a Batman figure of course and um, Wonder Woman but I think that they have two different versions of the Batman with the armored Batman now if we open it up, here we have like some literature about the uh, Batman vs Superman movie um, and then a little bit more about Superman here. But I mean of course you guys are more interested in taking a look at this. So here right off the bat we can see got like this um, clear plastic but it's also like you know got the logo going on with some cityscapes and comes with a couple different hands. The actual figure himself and this alternate head with it, uh, which is heat vision. And I'm just going to get right into it. Let's just open this thing up. So, right at the top right over here, we've got some tape. And I forgot to mention that actually this flap right here, um, it has like a magnetic clip. So it just like kind of holds it in place, which is actually great if... Um, if you'd like to, uh, you know, keep it in the packaging, which is very nice. This is a really nice packaging. I'm actually going to keep this box. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it. Just probably just store it in the closet or something. But it's so nice. All right. So this just slides right out. All right. Great. So then we have the figure himself. And... This was in the back of it, so that kind of pulls out. Um, so right over here, we kind of have uh, some instruction of uh, interchanging the different hands and the head. Um, we have the, this stand that it comes with. It's a display stand right here. And uh, this arch that kind of clips on with some hooks. It has some screws, um, so uh, you can actually tighten the base. I know this because I've actually had uh, one of the other figures from a Square Enix. Um, so this is actually my second one as well. And uh, it does give you some instruction on how to go about putting this together. Alright, so we'll just put off that to the side for now. And uh, let's get right into this. We'll open this up. has like a new car smell to it. It's really weird. Alright, well, all those pieces fell out. So, uh, again, we have these hands and they all come in here. And as you can see, they're not like actually tied down to anything. I thought that they would be kind of taped into place. Uh, the head is actually still intact there, but we've got these hand sculpts and we'll take a look into those in just a little bit. But uh, if we take a look at the actual figure... So taking a look at this figure, uh, sees, uh, let's uh, go ahead and measure this out to see where he actually stands. Alright, so I've got a ruler here. And he is about, uh, looks like nine and a half, just a little under nine and a half there. So that's where we have our mark. Nine and a half mark right there. So it's a pretty big figure, um, as you can tell. Uh, and uh, if we take a little closer look, um, this uh, it looks great. Uh, the face sculpt is great. It actually has some shadowing on top of the skin shadow, um, which is pretty neat. I mean, that's kind of cool. Does it look like Henry Cavill? Hmm, probably not really. Um, 
yeah, slightly. I mean, it looks like Superman more than it does the Henry Cavill. And by Superman, I mean, like, you know, the actual, you know, comic book or whatnot. <laughs> um, and here, he has some plastic on his cape. Um, and if we just take a look at his cape, his cape is very nice. Again, we have some more shadowing going on here. It's very nice and wavy. Um, it uh, looks like it's separated as well, as you can see. So it's like two parts to that cape. And then this upper portion. Um, got some other flap here. So it has some ball joints that you can move around. Um, probably to open up the cape and such. Um, and then if we just take a look at the Man, the detail of this paint job is really great. Um, it has different shades of blue. has a little bit of um, highlight whites in there as well. And you can see that he he just has like that theme kind of carried on throughout. He has uh, other shades of blue here, some striping. Really nice, actually. Really nice. Um, let's take a look at that head sculpt. So we'll just prop him up over there. Uh, the alternate head. looks pretty furious <laughs> so that's what the alternate head looks like Here, let me kind of bring it in focus that's pretty much what that looks like here and he just has like this really like kind of vein coming through his forehead that's like uh, actually sculpted in and uh, shaded that's uh, the entire side of his head. Um, so yeah, I appreciate what they did. They have like a, some red going on and they just have like a white dot in the center of his eye there um, to kind of like really make it pop. Um, it's pretty cool actually. I, I like it. Um, something different. Not just having him like looking so... Why so serious over there? <laughs> and then if we take a look at his other hands here that uh, we have... Um, we still have that really nice um, shade. Uh, it, it almost looks like, you know, car paint, you know, some, like, uh, model car. Really nice paint job. Um, the hands, really nice. So he, he comes with these different hands. I mean, what is Superman really going to do? Um, this one almost looks like it ha uh, can maybe hold a gun or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, it uh, kind of has, like, that uh, uh, finger trigger grip. Um, uh, same thing here too, this one kind of, I mean, really, what is Superman supposed to do except for like fly around and, uh, you know, grip stuff, I guess. <laughs> so, I've got like this going on. Uh, the hands are sculpted really nicely, you can kind of see the veins coming through. Um, really get great work, and, um, paint job looks really nice. Even in the palms, it looks a little bit more of a pinkish hue. So I'm going to go ahead and put this stand together real quick, and we'll get him set up. Alright, so uh, I was able to manage to put him in this like um, kind of a flying pose, pose as you can see. Um, 
show you a better angle of that. So he's his feet are off the ground, um, and uh, the stand is able to you know hold them up pretty nicely. Uh, the back of his cape, you can see because it has that split. Um, you could probably make that a little bit nicer, but um, that's pretty much what that looks like there, uh, and it's kind of just holding him in place. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for me. Um, let me know what you guys think. I personally really like this figure. I don't regret getting it at all. I think that the overall figure is very nice. Uh, paint job was awesome. Um, the articulation is incredible. Putting the stand together was a little difficult. Putting on the different hands and the head uh, may have been a little bit difficult because um, the plastic was a little stiff. Uh, but overall, I really do enjoy this, the quality of work that they put into it. Um, I am really happy about the price. Uh, I, I spent, you know, half the price. So I got it for 47 uh, on the Amazon Prime Lightning deal. Put a link in the description where you guys can pick it up as well. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Uh, put a like, put a comment. All right, and that's going to do it for me. This is uh, Don with the Break Room Blitz. It's a Superman Square Enix Play Arts Kai unboxing. Thank you.